For a site as commercial and mainstream as YouTube, it's got more than its fair share of weirdness. With over 400 hours of video being uploaded every minute from all over the world, the site is heaving with all sorts of fantastic chaos. From the surreal to the sinister, there's a near endless choice of content, but every so often, a video or channel is stumbled across that raises more questions than answers. Back in March 2013, the now infamous WebDriver Torso channel started uploading strange and, to some, unsettling videos to YouTube. Consisting mainly of red and blue rectangles moving around against a white screen, the channel gained considerable attention over a short period and led many viewers to speculate as to the intent or the message behind the numerous uploads. Some thought it may be something like a modern day number station, radio based transmissions speculated to be providing one time codes to spies and other covert operatives around the world, while others considered it to be messages from the Illuminati or some other occult group. One commenter on YouTube even suggested that it was an AI within YouTube that was gaining sentience. The reality was far less interesting, but ultimately revealed in a far more entertaining way. In May 2014, an Italian blogger by the name of Paolo B claimed to have uncovered the meaning behind WebDriver Torso and linked the channel back to a network owned by Google Zurich. He chased up Google and YouTube for confirmation but received no reply. However, on June the 6th, 2014, the channel uploaded a video that would, for most sane and rational people, bring the mystery to an end. The WebDriver Torso channel uploaded a video called TMP RKRL85. It looked pretty much the same as the other content, but five seconds in, a red cutout appeared dancing across the screen. To those familiar with internet phenomena and fads, the form on screen was instantly recognisable as none other than Rick Astley from the video for his hit, Never Gonna Give You Up. Yep. YouTube and Google rickrolled the internet en masse as they eventually revealed the true nature of WebDriver Torso. It turned out that the channel was set up for testing videos on YouTube to see differences in quality between the original uploaded content and the video that would eventually show up on YouTube. As reported by the Engadget website, YouTube finally replied to their queries with another rickroll in the form of a response. We're never gonna give you up loading that slow or loses video quality, and we're never gonna let you down by playing YouTube in poor video quality. That's why we're always running tests like WebDriver Torso. So, as is often the case, the mystery had a far more innocent and reasonable explanation than the theories put forth by the denizens of the internet. But you can't go wrong with a rickroll. In March 2015, a YouTube channel appeared called Unfavourable Semicircle which had one four-second long silent video of a static brown background with a small black spot towards the top right of the screen. Nothing was provided that could explain the content and it'd probably have been overlooked completely, were it not for the fact that the channel went on to upload over a thousand videos by the 4th of April. Most videos were barely a few seconds long, mostly silent but some with strange electronic noises and occasionally a distorted male voice intoning numbers or individual letters. Others were up to 11 hours in length, again unexplained and with no indication of the intent behind them. From April the upload rate increased exponentially, until at one point, the channel was uploading a new video every few seconds. Ultimately YouTube completely removed the channel in February 2016 due to a breach of their terms of service, and in fairness to YouTube, uploading 84,000 random videos in very quick succession could justifiably be called spamming, regardless of the intention of the channel creators. But all the content was gone. This only added to the mystery for some people, while others were convinced it was just another WebDriver torso like channel. But why then would a testing channel be uploading 11 hour long, silent videos? WebDriver torso had a uniformity to its contents, but Unfavourable semicircles contents just seemed too random, not to mention too damn long to be of any use as a testing service. Also, the creepy disembodied voice reading out random binary code or individual letters just seemed too deliberate to be no more than a way of testing upload quality or whatever. To this day, 
the mysterious channel remains unexplained. There were further attempts by the uploader to set up new channels to share their content, but these, as well as the social media accounts connected to the project, were all shut down either by the sites themselves or by the creator of the material. Even two years down the line, there are entire websites and wiki pages set up to dissect and examine the videos with some believing that there are codes or hidden messages contained within them. As far as I can see, nobody has made any real progress with decoding the videos or offered any reasonable explanation as to how and why the videos were produced. Some people are literally taking the videos apart, one frame at a time, and creating everything from composite images to full 3D composites in an attempt to figure this out, but apparently to no avail. Others have attempted to replicate the videos from the ground up in an effort to understand the process behind their creation and to shine some light on the intent of the creator. As it stands, Unfavourable Semicircle remains unsolved and, given its complexity and seemingly random nature, it seems unlikely that a satisfactory answer will ever be found. Perhaps one day the creator of the channel will speak up and explain it, but until then, Unfavourable Semicircle stands as an online curiosity that really deserves a video in its own right. In February 2016, a channel called Global Worldwide started uploading a series of strange videos with inexplicable titles, all consisting mainly of what appears to be overlaid weather reports, old teletext screens and media clips from across the globe. The channel uploaded videos, usually around 31 seconds in length, every 20 minutes or so, never explaining their content or providing any hint of the intent of their creator. The videos have fantastic, almost surrealist titles such as Comfort is a Moral Street Block, Chaos is an Asian Portable, and Excitement is too inevitable to experience. Each with a seemingly random selection of words, cut up like a Burroughs novel to create these weird sentences that seem to have no relation to the video themselves. Global Worldwide didn't publicise itself, didn't seem to be looking for subscribers or likes for their videos, but still continued to upload multiple times each hour since the day it started. It only seems to have gained any major attention when a YouTube channel called Cowchop picked up on the videos and featured their channel in the show. After that, those of us interested in such online oddities quickly took notice and subscribed to the channel, while others actively tried to solve the mystery of what was seen by many to be some sort of Cicada 3301 type puzzle, or maybe even some sort of number station again, just as had been the case with WebDriver Torso. A Reddit user named IAMOGamer started their own subreddit later in 2016, largely just to talk about the channel and to make some new friends. By their own admission, they say that they didn't expect for the channel to actually go anywhere or reveal anything. As far as they were concerned, it was just about a fun to create a place to discuss the channel and create bizarre theories around this inexplicable material. Sure enough, for a long time there was no progress on identifying the creator of the channel or figuring out what the hell it was all about, but over time, the internet sleuths managed to dig up some information and theories began to build. Some speculated that Global Worldwide was actually related to an international freight forwarding company, however, the name appears to be very common in certain business sectors and so nothing concrete could really be found to tie the channel to any real world company. Some involved in the investigation traced the channel back to a Tumblr page called Cafe Internet, which started at the same time as the YouTube page and posted identical content so there was clearly a connection there. After discovering the Cafe Internet page in Tumblr, a bit of further investigation by an intrepid Redditor called More Like a Duck went further and finally managed to track down some specific information about the page and also its creator. As it turned out, Global Worldwide was basically an experimental art project using bots and scripts to generate and upload randomised videos seemingly similar to the cut and paste literary work of Burroughs and Geisen in the 60s and 70s. An interface developer and visual artist called Louis Kiral was the person behind the whole thing. He had developed scripts written in the Python programming language with a guy going by the name of Elon Bing as part of a few of his projects producing algorithmic and neural art. By taking random videos from YouTube, 
mashing them together using a straightforward script and ripping bits and pieces of other titles to form the names for the videos, Louis managed to produce some of the most intriguing yet puzzling material available on YouTube. On looking through his site, Global Worldwide seems to be a mix between his media toolkit and his hamburger music programs, combined to shred random videos, overlay them with blend modes and then create obscure titles from other web-based sources. A few Reddit users tried to reach out to Louis and see what he had to say about the project, but to date, nobody has received a response, only adding to the mystique surrounding the silent creator. After people started subscribing and commenting in the videos, Louis appears to have closed down his Tumblr page and removed any trace of his involvement in the project. This may not be quite as mysterious a move as it seems, since the guy is a working artist and, presumably, didn't want to be labelled as the Global Worldwide Guy or have the comments, you know, the typical YouTube barrage of profanity and nonsense, be a reflection on him and his other work. That, to me, makes sense, but still a bit unsatisfying when there's nothing nefarious or conspiratorial about the project at all. The scripts involved in the project are freely available on GitHub under Elon Bing's account, but since I'm not a programmer and know virtually nothing about the technical ins and outs, I've never tried to replicate the project or see what happens when some of the variables are altered. Maybe someone out there will give it a go and upload the results because it'd be really cool to see the outcome of another project using different source material or something like that. As you can tell from the name of this channel, I just love weird stuff online, and Global Worldwide, which is still active and uploading regularly, really works as one of those online oddities that people will be talking about 10 years down the line. It's a thoroughly interesting project, and if you're anything like me, the randomness and downright weirdness of the videos they upload will bring you back to the channel again and again. Sure, it'd be great if there was some grand conspiracy or real mystery behind Global Worldwide, but in this case, it's the crazy blend of art and technology that makes the project so interesting to me, and many others. With the volume of content being posted to the channel, it would be a Herculean task to go through them all and try and find some specific message or meaning, and to be honest, I don't even think it'd ultimately be worthwhile. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you've enjoyed the video, and go check out Global Worldwide's channel for more of their chaotic visuals and retro vibes. Until next time, Stay weird.